Welcome to Module 1, Overview of Washington Apple Health Medicaid. The topics we will be reviewing are Washington Apple Health Medicaid Overview, Apple Health Classic Medicaid, MAGI-based medical programs, MAGI-based application process, administrative hearings, change of circumstances, Apple Health for pregnant individuals, after pregnancy coverage, also known as APC, retroactive Apple Health, authorized representatives, AREPs, and resources. Washington Apple Health Medicaid Overview. Healthcare Authority, HCA, is the state agency for the policy and purchasing of all Apple Health programs in Washington State. For the purposes of eligibility, Apple Health is divided into classic medical programs and MAGI-based medical programs. MAGI stands for Modified Adjusted Gross Income. This is the methodology that income is counted to determine eligibility. Apple Health Classic Medicaid. HCA contracts with its partner agency, the Department of Social and Health Services, DSHS, to administer some Apple Health programs for individuals who are age 65 and older, have blindness, or disabilities. These programs are referred to as Apple Health Classic Medicaid programs. Individuals applying for Apple Health Classic programs submit applications through the Washington Connection website. Volunteer Assisters Access. The goal of this training is to prepare community partners to assist individuals when applying for or renewing Apple Health coverage for MAGI-based medical programs through Washington Health Plan Finder. Community partners who are affiliated with a community-based organization in Washington State can complete this training and gain volunteer access to the Washington Health Plan Finder website. HCA Volunteer Assisters. To gain system access, the community partners complete the seven module training, pass an assessment test, and complete the application process. The application process includes a registration form, Washington State Patrol background check, and health benefit exchange user agreement. Contact the Volunteer Assister Program to begin the process at H-C-A-V-O-L-U-N-T-E-E-R-A-S-S-I-S-T-E-R -E -E at H-C-A dot W-A dot G-O-V. Apple Health Classic Medicaid. Apply for Apple Health Classic Medicaid. Individuals age 65 or older who have blindness or a disability and receive Medicare, apply for Apple Health Classic coverage. They may visit washington.connection.org forward slash home and select the Apply Now button or they may submit a paper application for aged, blind, disabled, or long-term services and support, HCA Form 18-005, or they may request an application by calling 1-877-501-2233. They may apply in person at a local Community Services Office. Free interpreter services are available. Eligibility criteria varies for each program and is based on household size, income, and meeting the resources requirement. Apple Health Classic Medicaid Terminology. 
Terminology used in Apple Health Catholic Medicaid programs include Supplemental Security, so security Income, SSI, Medically Needy, MN, Categorically Needy, CN, Long-Term Care, LTC, Program of All-Inclusive Care for the Elderly, PACE, and Alien Emergency Medical. A E M. Coverage groups that are administered by the Community Services Division of DSHS are listed on this slide. Coverage groups that are administered by Aging and Long Term Support Administration at DSHS are listed on this slide. Continuation of coverage groups that are administered by Aging and Long-Term Support Administration at DSHS are listed on this slide. MAGI-based medical programs. MAGI-based medical programs. Most individuals applying for Apple Health coverage apply for a MAGI-based medical program. They may apply online by visiting WA. H E A L T H P L A N F I N D E R dot O R G or by phone at one eight five five nine two three four six three three. They may also download a mobile application W A P L A N F I N D E R or submit their application by fax at 1-855-867-4467 or they may mail in their application to P.O. Box 946 Olympia, Washington 98507. Eligibility criteria varies for each program and is based on household size tax filing status and income, not resources. MAGI-based medical programs are administered by HCA through the Washington Health Plan Finder portal. Here is a list of MAGI-based medical programs. Washington Apple Health for parent, caretaker, relative, medical healthcare extension, for parent, caretaker, relative, Washington Apple Health Pregnancy, Washington Apple Health for Adult, Washington Apple Health for Kids, Washington Apple Health for Kids with Premium, also known as CHIP, Washington Apple Health Alien Emergency Medical, AEM, Washington Apple Health for Newborn, After Pregnancy Coverage. APC. HCA also administers specialized medical coverage groups. Displayed on this slide are foster care and adoption support, breast and cervical cancer treatment program, refugee medical assistance, confidential teen pregnancy. MAGI-based application process. Eligibility for MAGI-based programs is determined by client attestation with post-eligibility review. Eligibility criteria are cross-matched with state and federal data sources. Clients will need to verify criteria that is unverified or income that is found non-compatible. HCA eligibility staff will manually verify eligibility. Individuals who are found eligible for Apple Health are approved for a one-year period unless they are found ineligible during a post-eligibility review, turning 19 years old, eligible for Washington Apple Health for adults, and turning 65 years old, or starting to receive Medicare. Determine eligible for a classic medical program, no longer a Washington State resident, 
or no longer meet the specific eligibility criteria for the program they were approved on. Administrative hearings. All individuals have the right to appeal the decision the agency makes regarding their Apple Health coverage. An appeal must be made within 90 days of a decision. Coverage may be able to continue during the hearing process. If the individual has an urgent health care need, they can submit an expedited hearing request. Change of circumstances. Individuals approved for MAGI-based Apple Health are required to report the following changes within 30 days. Residential or mailing address, marital status, family members or dependents moving in or out of the residence, tax filing status, pregnancy, health insurance coverage, immigration or citizenship status, change in income of more than $150, that is expected to last longer than 60 days. Advance notice. When an individual's coverage is changing or ending, the agency gives them at least 10 days notice. Exceptions to the 10 day notice period include, but are not limited to, the action was requested, return mail, no forwarding address or current address on file, or death. For more information, you may see WAC 182-518-0025. Notices are sent when the agency approves, denies, or reconsiders an application for Apple Health renews Apple Health coverage, or changes or terminates Apple Health coverage, even if an individual is approved for another program. Each notice sent to an individual requires the nature of the action, the effective date of this action, the facts and reasons for the action, the specific regulation on which the action is based, appeal rights, and right to continued coverage. If notice requirements are not met, coverage will be reinstated back to the date of the action. However, once notice requirements are met, action may be taken. Coverage for deceased individuals. When applying for MAGI-based Apple Health coverage, an application can be submitted on behalf of deceased individuals within three months of their death date. Only certain individuals are authorized to submit applications for Apple Health on behalf of deceased individuals. Navigators, certified application counselors, and hospital financial counselors are not authorized to submit applications for deceased individuals unless they have been appointed as legal guardians or representatives that extend past death. The following individuals are authorized to submit an application on behalf of a de deceased applicant. A legal guardian or representative of the applicant or a state that extends past death a surviving spouse, a parent of the applicant, or an adult child applying for their parent and no surviving spouse exists. For complete instructions on submitting an application, you may visit Processing Apple Health Applications for de Deceased Individuals The designation of an authorized representative ends upon an individual's death. An individual or organization assigned guardianship or power of attorney, POA, while the applicant or recipient was living are not authorized to submit an application. Guardianship and POA assigned while the individual is living 
ends when the individual is deceased. How to apply for a deceased person Magi base. You may complete a paper application for healthcare coverage form 18-001 and include information stating the applicant is deceased, the date of death, Verification of household income received in the month of the death, including by the deceased applicant. Verification of legal guardian or authorized representative that extends past the date of death, if applicable, and if retroactive eligibility is needed. Fill out the retroactive health care coverage request form, HDA form 13-952. Include all verification of household income received in the months prior to death, including by the deceased applicant. How to apply for a deceased person? Classic Medicaid. To submit an Apple Health Classic Medicaid application on behalf of a deceased individual, contact DSHS, Paper Application Long Term Care, Age Blind. Disabled Coverage, HCA 18-005, or you may go online to WashingtonConnection.org forward slash home. Apple Health for Pregnant Individuals. Apple Health for Pregnant Individuals. Coverage starts when the person applies and is found eligible and continues through the last day of the pregnancy. Income at or below 193% of the federal poverty level, FPL. Citizenship or immigration status does not apply. Must be a Washington State resident. A pregnant individual's household size includes the number of unborn children and the number of household members. For example, an individual lives alone and is pregnant with twins. Their household size is three, their self and their two unborn children. Once enrolled, individuals will remain enrolled regardless of any change in income. Automatically transition to after pregnancy coverage, APC, once your pregnancy ends. APC is continuous coverage for 12 months regardless of how the pregnancy ends. For individuals under age 19, pregnancy-related services may be kept confidential. To apply for confidential services, individuals may apply by paper application, application for pregnant teen health care coverage, or by phone within REACH Family Health Hotline, 1-800-322-2588. Confidential services. Applications for confidential services are not processed through Washington Health Plan Finder. A paper application must be submitted for pregnant teen health care coverage. Apple Health for Pregnant Individuals. Individuals that are over the income standard for Apple Health Pregnancy Medical may be eligible for medically needy spend down. Individuals who qualify and enroll in Apple Health for medically needy pregnant women become eligible for MN coverage after incurring medical costs equal to the amount of the household income that is above the 193% FPL standard. For more information, Apple Health for the Medically Needy and Spend Down webpage. After pregnancy coverage. After pregnancy coverage, APC provides up to 12 months postpartum coverage to eligible individuals. Individuals who are on an Apple Health program and report a pregnancy will automatically transition to APC for 12 months after their pregnancy ends. Individuals not on Apple Health during their pregnancy may be eligible for APC when they apply for coverage within the 12 months of their last pregnancy.
APC eligibility. To be eligible for APC, an individual must have had a pregnancy within 12 months, reside in Washington State, have countable income equal to or below 193% of the federal poverty level, and not be active on another Apple Health program. Immigration status does not affect eligibility. Coverage begins the month the individual applies and is found eligible and continues for 12 months regardless of a change in income or household size. Retroactive Apple Health. Retroactive Apple Health is available for the three months prior to the month of application. For an individual who applies on 3-02-22, the retroactive months would be 0 0 0-1-22, and 12-21. Eligibility for retroactive health care coverage is determined separately from an individual's current certification period. This may mean an individual is eligible only during the retroactive period. The request for retro must be made within the certification period following the retroactive period or before the determination of benefits and any appeal process is final. There are two exceptions for individuals who are ineligible at the time of the application but are requesting retroactive Apple Health. These exceptions are for Apple Health for pregnant individuals and Apple Health for kids. When a child or pregnant individual is eligible in one of the three months prior to the application month, the following will occur. Children will receive coverage for 12 months from the month of eligibility. Pregnant individuals will receive coverage throughout their pregnancy, then will transition to after pregnancy coverage for 12 months after their pregnancy. Retroactive coverage is not automatic. Individuals must meet all eligibility requirements for the months requested. The retro request is approved when the individual requested retro during the time specified above would have been eligible for Apple Health for any or all three months if they had applied during that period and received medical services in the months requested. When an individual reports unpaid medical bills on their application, a letter with a retro form are sent. Retroactive Apple Health Form 13-952. HDA has a process in place to retroactively approve an individual for Washington Apple Health. Applicants and authorized representatives are required to send the Retroactive Health Care Coverage Request Form 13-952 for MAGI-based medical retro coverage. Information needed for processing a request for retroactive health care coverage includes the total household income received in the retroactive months, the names of the household members requesting retroactive health care coverage, and the primary applicant's information. The form can be found on the HDA Forms website titled Retroactive Health Care Coverage Request Form MAGI Medicaid. Return the completed form to the HCA by email apple at hca.wa.gov through fax 1866-1866. 841-2267 or through mail addressed to meds, M-E-D-S, at P.O. Box 45531, Olympia, Washington, 98504-5531. Retroactive Classic Medicaid. 
Request for retroactive classic Medicaid age 65 and older or have blindness or a disability are processed by the Department of Social and Health Services. For classic Medicaid retro request, the Retro Health Care Coverage Request Form 13-952 is not applicable. Retroactive Apple Health Scenario 1 Sarah is approved for Apple Health on September 1, 2022, and she received medical services in June, July, and August that are unpaid. She submits her completed retro form 13-952 in December 2022, attesting to income of $1,700 in June, $1,600 in July, and 900 in August. She reports no deductions. Outcome, Sarah is over income for Apple Health for June and July and is approved for August. Scenario two, Jean is pregnant and applies for Apple Health in April, but her countable income in exceeds the standard. At the time of application, she also requests retroactive coverage for February. Her retroactive form reports cannibal income in February that was below the standard. The outcome, since she was pregnant in February, one of the retroactive months, she is eligible for Apple Health from February 1st through the end of her pregnancy. She will also automatically transition to APC after her pregnancy ends. Authorized Representative, AREP. An authorized representative, AREP, is a person or organization that is authorized by an applicant or recipient to act on their behalf for Apple Health eligibility purposes. An AREP may sign an application on the applicant's behalf, complete and submit a renewal form, receive copies of the notices and communications from the agency, and act on behalf of the applicant in all eligibility matters with the agency. An AREP can share any information relevant to eligibility. However, the agency can only share information with the AREP that is necessary for the purposes of determining financial eligibility. Examples of information the agency cannot share are social security numbers, SSN, birth dates, home or mailing addresses, places of employment that are outside of a request, for specific employment verification or pregnancy due dates or status. When an AREP is an organization, individuals of that organization may also act as AREPs. If an AREP is a division or other part of a larger organization, only individuals in that division or part may act as AREPs. Example, King County Public Health is a large organization. If the Access and Outreach Department of King County Public Health is de designated an AREP, only those individuals in that department may act as AREPs. Individuals from other departments in King County Public Health are not AREPs. Legal Guardianship and Power of Attorney An AREP can also be a court-appointed legal guardian with authority to make financial decisions on a person's behalf or have a power of attorney, POA, that grants decision-making authority regarding the person's financial interaction with the agency. A separate AREP designation is not required for a court-appointed legal guardian or POA. However, verification must be provided to the agency. Termination of AREP authorization. The AREP designation may be terminated verbally or in writing at any time by either the applicant or AREP. When the client is deceased, the AREP designation terminates, except when the AREP is the executor or administrator of the deceased estate or legally authorized by the courts or by state law to act on behalf of the deceased or their estate legal guardianship and POA assigned while the client is living ends after the client is deceased. An individual can appoint an AREP using one of the following forms 
online through Washington Health Plan Finder. Form type, a rep form shared by DSHS and HCA, form number, form 14-532, application for health coverage for Magi Apple Health and QHB paper form, HCA 18-001, confidential teen pregnancy application paper form, HCA 14-430, application for long-term care aged blind disabled coverage paper form, HCA 18-005. Individual can designate an AREP on the application for health care coverage. Another option is the authorized representative form 14-532. Resources. For those who are not on Apple Health and would like to apply or report a change, they may go online to Washington Health Plan Finder, select the Apply Now button, or may apply through the mobile application by downloading the WA Plan Finder app, select Sign In or Create an Account, or may apply through phone, by calling the Washington Health Plan Finder Customer Support Center at 1-855-923-4633. They may also submit a paper application for health care coverage form 18-001P or may apply in person at no additional cost with a local health benefit exchange navigator who can help apply for health coverage. Apply for Apple Health Classic Medicaid. Individuals age 65 or older have blindness or a disability or need long-term services and supports, LTSS. Apply for Classic Apple Health coverage online by going to Washington Connection. Select the Apply Now button or may submit a paper application for age, blind, disabled, or long-term services and support, HCA Form 18-005, or may call 1-877-501-2233. They can also apply in person at a local community services office. Interpreter services are available. On this slide, there are resources listed. The Apple Health Magi Medicaid Paper Application, Apple Health Classic Medicaid Paper Application, Pregnant Individuals Eligibility Webpage, After Pregnancy Coverage Webpage. Continuation of resources, the HCA area representatives. They may contact us at HCA Volunteer Assister at hca.wa.gov, HCA Stakeholder Training and Education webpage, HCA Community Based Specialist. Congratulations! You've completed Module 1 of HCA Community Based Training. Please continue to Module 2 of the seven modules HCA Community Based Training.